Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. Get a phaser rifle. What about the enemy ship? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Yes, sir. I so this is uh, how we get our a better weapon, the phaser rifle. So that's nice. These are the new hallways that I was talking about, by the way. The new corridors that they've uh, put in the game. S looks so much better now. Very up to date. Very 25th century, I suppose. I like it. Good update, cryptic. Hi there. Let's get some weapons. Go to the armory locker in this room and interact with it to get a better weapon. Open your inventory, default key I, and double click on your rifle to equip it. Hey, got our You can rifle. switch between two equipped weapons by pressing Z. Oh yeah. Let's go. Order oh, we can order the cadets. Oh. Oh, he just got vaporized. No. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. I like how they tell you how to get loot. <laughs> oh crap. Hole breach! You have recovered a hypo spray. You can use this to quickly heal any damage you may have suffered. Wow. Oh, it's just a freighter. How can that freighter be doing this much damage to us? Come on. You can do extra Whoa. damage to enemies by Hello. flanking them. Try attacking your enemies on their sides or behind them. Well, I am definitely doing that. Heal rat Rorik. Rorik. go that way. I want to try the other rooms first. Over here. Nope, can't go there. And I can't go there, so never mind. Again, these doors are gigantic. I have never seen... These are the largest doors I've ever seen in my life. Some objects can be destroyed and create environmental effects. You can destroy the EPS conduit near the Klingons to damage them. Like that. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Use your career skills to help your ship. So this shows you now in the game that there are specific career skills career specific things you can do. If you're an engineer, you can improve the ship's structural integrity field. If you're science, you can reinforce the shield. And if you're tactical, you can improve the ship's weapons. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Nice. I like that they show you that right off the bat. to crouch. Crouching is a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. Reach the door. Oh, where's that coming from? <laughs> I'm peeing phaser beams over here. You know you've had a bad day when your pee stream is a phaser beam. I 
I'd go see a doctor. I can do something with this, so let's do it. <laughs> Boost power to aft phasers, nice. Okay, I did that. Let's do this one over here. Four phasers. Finally, this one back here. Torpedoes. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Nice, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. All right. Yeah, these new corridors look really nice. I am liking it a lot. Beat the Klingon borders. They're on the bridge, too. Port Captain Tagger. Oh, is this how you get your new ship? He dies and you get to take over the ship or something? Heal cadets. You have my gratitude. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us oh, or Klingon. defeating us. Klingon ship out your there. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to oh, surrender, Captain, or been. I will blow them out of the sky! It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Mm. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Whoa! Oh, and they killed him. Called that one. Make me proud. We have target lock, Captain. Fire. Nice. Let's say, uh, there we go. Direct hit! Casualties on all decks! Shields! Shields! Fire all weapons! Weapons and shields are offline! Ah! Cloak and begin repairs! We've lost their signal. What now? Um... Not sure. Um, speak to Flores. We we survived, but the captain. This was just a training cruise, and the captain, captain died. Tiger knew what would happen, and he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice, one that we all might. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive and remember him. This uh, mission is very Kobayashi Maru-like. I'm getting that vibe from it. Like, um, it's a no-win scenario, the captain dies, we have to be uh, prepared to die for our crew and all that stuff. Right, I'm in command. Sweet. Elisa Flores is now your bridge officer. Ah. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. 
So we get a bridge officer right off the bat. Sounds like uh, Tovan Kev from uh, the Romulan faction. Uh, they give you a uh, bridge officer who's like your buddy buddy now. And it's Eliza Flores. Alright. So now we're in our ship. We're in space. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Going out on here. So there's the break even, and there's a cloaked Klingon ship in the vicinity. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying. What's the status of the Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Well, what about the break-even? Hail them. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. SS break-even. This is the Starfleet vessel USS Millennium Falcon. What is your status? Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to blow my ship into space junk. Mm hmm And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Uh, I I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from KDEC. I'll see what I can do. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. Use W and S to move up or down. Use A and D to turn left or right. So this now that it showed you how to do ground combat, it's now showing you how to do space. The only thing it hasn't indicated yet is how you can set your power mode. Obviously attack is not default. I always set mine to attack mode. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Okay, scan the freighter. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself okay. near the ship and press F to interact with it. Repairing freighter. Thanks. We'd help you if we could. But I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Yeah. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Do you have the damage report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Any ideas? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris Bingo. in the bone yard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Okay. Ah, so this Press is showing the space you. Bar to fire energy weapons. Showing you how to do your weapons. Cool. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot. Taking through scraps left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. Right click on the power. These to plasma set it injectors to will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. I like that it just told me that I can right click my uh, weapons to set them to auto fire. A lot of people don't know that. Of course, I already did that. But that's good information. I'm glad they put that there. But they still haven't shown you that you can set your power levels yet. Um, uh, that's good, but remember, the Klingon who wants us dead, I need you to work fast. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Give me a status report. Zarva's dealing with the warp core, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Yeah, okay. She somehow doesn't quite sound like a Starfleet officer. A little 
flippant, maybe? I'm not sure. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Oh, yeah. Tavrell has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Okay. So slow. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. Shields have failed. I haven't forgotten about you. Think your ship can take a couple more hits. Uh, I think it can. Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Yep. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Do it. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Finally, we have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Nice. So it tells you I about can't full make impulse. Your depth swift. Activate full impulse. That's good. Your ship is outfitted with phaser beam banks. These weapons have a 270 degree firing arc. This is the firing arc for the forward phaser banks. This is the firing arc for the rear phaser banks. Note that both the forward and rear phasers have an overlapping arc of fire on the sides of your ship. That's nice. Firing at enemies within the overlapping portion of your firing arcs is known as broadsiding. This allows both the forward and rear phaser banks to fire on the same target at the same time, increasing your damage output. Federation captains who prefer beam bank weapons favor the broadside technique and will often circle their target, keeping them within the broadside arc at all times. That's a nice tutorial. Multiple birds of prey decloaking! Think you can catch me? Go ahead and try! I think I can. Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on the icon or pressing Alt and 1. High yield torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Cool, it tells you what the ability does. Of course, it's pointing to the wrong icon, but still. <laughs> This is a really good tutorial so far, I'm impressed. Negbar! You are no match for me. Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. A shielded bird of prey, huh? Bump into each other there. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. 
This will divert power from your other shields. Yeah. Explosions cause damage. Put some distance between yourself and exploding ships. Yeah, we found that out. Okay. Talk to first officer. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. On screen. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Klingon marauders. A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? Well, about Taggart. <laughs> he was captured and taken to the Klingon ship, and they killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. So, I take it you are in command I now. I sure am. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth Space Dock. Well, what about the Klingon who killed Captain Taggart? Kadek is still out there. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown? Yes, sir. I want revenge on Kadek. And, and, oh, I knew it. Your captain begged for his life before I killed him. Target shields have failed. Accepting danger is part of being a Scarfleet officer. You have learned this lesson My well. Trial of this. It's time to finish this fight. I agree. Let's finish this. My house will avenge me. There we go. The Renown will escort you back to Earth Space Dock. But first, we must inform the USS Kittimer that... One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth Space Dock and report to Admiral Quinn. Nice, I get 6,000 skill points, expertise, Ooh, and I get an array of things. Hyper Impulse Engine, Mark 1, Phaser Beam Array, Mark 1, Phaser Split Beam Rifle, and I get Zarva, just like we got Tovan Kev. Congratulations, Lieutenant. It's a ton of stuff. I got a new officer right now. Uh, investigate what happened to the USS Kittimer. Go to the Polux system. So we got a whole bunch of stuff, but this tutorial is still not over. It's a very long tutorial. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. Ah, I see. So it's a way to teach you what is, uh... <laughs> Use M to open sector up space. the map for sector space. You can click on a system to plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. I'm glad that they uh, told you that as well, because that's how you get to places. That's very nice. It's a good tutorial. It really teaches you everything you need to know to get started. All right, um, communication breakdown. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Very good. Set on course for Kittimer. It's like a whole mission here. This is really neat. I like this. Hail the Kittimer. Let's cut through the static. Boost the signal. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Understood. Ah, Captain Volon. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Um... Not Captain Taggart. I'm in command of the Million Falcon. Captain Volok ordered me to come with him to your location. Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. 
Do you know what happened with your communications? These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. Okay. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? Um, no questions. I'm confident my crew's up to the task. <laughs> You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't commanding a ship back then. Let's see how you perform before you start claiming that chair full time. Understood. Data collection. This I can do. You can set your ship's power levels to have oh, a focus okay. on attack, defense, speed, or balance. Finally, they do show that. Very good. Very, very good. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. Uh, so I guess if you're a science, uh, you can do, I've determined that this is a problem with our sensors tachyon settings, but I'm not, so I can just say how can we improve our findings. My chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans, and then report back. Okay. is very bright. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us. The oh, board. The board. Wow. Well, that's the shield and prepare to be boarded. All life forms will be assimilated. That's how they get the board in this. <laughs> Working on it. Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Working on it. I had my own probe to deal with. Contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. EMH, give me a situation report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Uh, can you hold out on your own? We have problems of our own to deal with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Uh, Captain Volok, what should we do? The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do so. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. What do you need us to do? I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. 
We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. I trust my crew. We'll get it done. I have linked the IOTA point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Okay. Please transmit the data so we may begin our analysis. You got it. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Okay, what's the status of the Our Kittimer? tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kittimer to help analyze the data? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Uh, agreed. Can you help the now and analyze the data we've accumulated in the system? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Alright, let's see what we can determine. Don't know why that would be a bad idea. Oh, Borg transwarp signatures detected. I am curious. Prepare your ship for combat. Prepare. They're firing. I need help. You got it. Maybe that's why it would uh, <laughs> cause a problem. Or these are just puny probes, easily defeatable. I'm doing more damage than the Renoan, and that's a uh, uh, basically Enterprise E class. They should be able to do a lot more damage than I'm doing. More board! I don't know if we're ready for this. Well, we are now. And you are ready for this, trust me. You'll do just fine. Officers, you are prepared Whoa, for this. Whoa, where'd that come from? Multiple Borg warp signatures detected. That's not good. It's an invasion force. That's a bad thing. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. <laughs> They're all warping the away. The Borg are departing, most likely for a more strategic target. Direct your fire at the remaining sphere. Focus your fire, and we shall prevail. Yes, we shall. Target shield has failed. Just like that. Direct hit. Got a science console. Here is the situation as we see it. The Borg are using the Pollock system as a staging area for a larger invasion. Long-range sensors are already detecting inbound transwarp signatures. The most likely target for a first strike is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg could take it by surprise, they would have large numbers of new drones at their disposal. So I'm tactical, so I can go to Vega to warn the colonists. Very observant of you. The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. We must remain here. 
Once you have warned the colony, return to Earth's space dock. Uh, can you stop the Borg? This is not a matter of can, Cadet. It is a matter of must. We must buy you as much time as possible. Once we are no longer in a position to help, we will stage a tactical retreat. You should have enough time to warn the colony. I will attempt to summon additional ships to assist, but you cannot wait for them to arrive. Understood. We'll go to Vega. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn in the mission. Nice. It is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. We will do what we can to hold off the Borg here in Vega and repair the Kittimer. All right. Live long and prosper. So it is like a mission. Captain Power, Eva. Oh, okay, okay, good. They tell you what your new Captain Powers are going to be uh, on these things now. That's good. Because, uh, you know, when you level to certain levels, you get new Captain Powers and abilities. But before, it was very cryptic as to uh, what you got. People didn't know that they got new stuff. But, um... Now, it tells them. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Okay, I get you. Are you ready to go? All right, yeah. It's the part system. It's a very lengthy tutorial, but I'll tell you what, it's very in-depth. Shields up, red alert. Front row. I don't think they stand a chance. 